Okay, today we're going to go over the DMA study guide for Unit 3, and Unit 3 is all about fractions. Now, we did talk about the fact that you could use a calculator, so you can use a handheld calculator, or you can use a calculator that is on your Chromebook. Totally your choice, whatever is easier for you. So I'm sure the problems are probably going to be difficult to read on the video, but you should have them on the worksheet or on the PDF that you're looking for. So in question number one, it says Drew is serving pizza at his birthday party. There are 30 people coming to the party, and he wants each person to have two pieces of pizza. Each pizza has eight slices. How many pizzas does Drew need to order so that he has enough pizza for everyone? So I'm going to start off with the fact that Drew is going to have 30 people coming to the party and each person is going to have two slices. So again, 30 people, two slices for each person. So if people were only going to have one slice, that'd be 30 slices. So since they're having two slices, that would be 60 total slices. So that's again going to be your first step. Figure out how many total slices you're going to need. Next thing, each pizza has eight slices. So we're going to break this 60 into eights. And this is something that you could do in the calculator. 60 divided by eight is 7.5. Now we can't go someplace and order 7.5 pizzas. So you are going to need to round up. Regardless of the number that is in the decimal, for this problem, you're going to need to round up. So even if this would have been 7.0001, you would still need to round up in order to have enough pizza. So final answer here would be eight pizzas. All right, moving on to question number two. Question number two is actually pretty time consuming. It says students in a culinary class. So culinary means like cooking class uh, are mixing white sugar and brown sugar as part of an experiment. The white sugar comes in one half cup packets and the brown sugar comes in one third cup packets. Complete the table below with the correct values. Okay, so I'm going to focus on one person at a time. We see we have Reese, Pete, Cora, and Huck. And then we have some answer choices over there. Now your answer choices, you're only going to use each answer choice one time. And we are going to be rounding, okay? And we can see that those answer choices are pretty close to um, each other. All right, so one thing that you can do if you want to, if you want to, you can change these into decimal form. So white sugar is a half a cup and one half is easy to write as a decimal, it'd be 0 0.5. And it says that brown sugar is one third. Now one third is not a decimal that is easy to change into or a fraction that's easy to write as a decimal because if you do one divided by three you get 0 0.3333333 it's a repeating decimal so since we are going to be rounding i'm going to know that if i just use 0 0.3 my answer is going to be a little off um but i'm going to go ahead and figure out what all the answers are and then i should be able to match them up with my answer choices okay all right, so I'm going to focus on Reese first. I'm going to do Reese in blue. And Reese uses 13 packets of brown. So 13 packets, brown is 0 0.3. Let me get that answer. And nine packets of white. So nine packets of white, which is 0 0.5. So nine times 0 0.5. So use that calculator, 13 times 0 0.3 is 3.9, and 9 times 0 0.5 is 4.5. And then you are going to add these two numbers together. Okay, so we're adding the 3.9 plus the 4.5, and that would give me 8.4. Now, if I was rounding, I would probably round down to eight, but again, I'm just gonna wait a second and get all of my other answers, and then I think that I'll be able to match them up better. So I'm gonna move on to Pete. I'm gonna do Pete in red. It says Pete had seven packets of brown. So seven times the brown is 0 0.3, and 
Then 7 times 0 0.3 is 2.1. And 11 packets of white. So 11 times my white is 0 0.5. And 11 times 0 0.5 is 5.5. So again, I am adding my 2.1 and my 5.5, and that gives me 7.6. So you can see the problem here. This would technically round down to eight. That would technically round up to eight. So we need to be careful and get our other answers so that again, we can match them up correctly. Now the reason our answers are a little off is because of the 0 0.3. Remember that 0 0.3 really should have been 0 0.33333333. Okay, let's move on to Cora. I'm gonna do Cora in purple. Cora is gonna use 17 packets of brown. So 17, brown is 0 0.3. And 17 times 0 0.3 is 5.1. And one packet of white. One times 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. So 5.1 plus 0 0.5 is 5.6. And lastly, Huck. We'll do Huck in green. Huck has 16 packets of brown. So 16 times 0 0.3 is... 4.8 and four packets of white, four times white is 0 0.5, which would be two. 4.8 plus two is 6.8. Okay, now that I have all of my answers, I am gonna match them over there with my answer choices, my possible answer choices. So one thing that I noticed is my biggest answer. My biggest answer of these decimals is the 8.4, and my biggest answer choice is nine. So I'm gonna say that this is the nine. Okay, so I've used that. Remember, we can only use these only once. My next highest number is 7.6. So I'm gonna use my next highest over here, which would be eight. And then I have this 5.6, which is the smallest number. And the smallest number I have to choose from is the six. So that means I'm gonna match the seven, the 6.8 with the seven. And there we go, okay? So that would be, I think, the easiest way to do this problem. You could have left these in fraction form. You could have done one half times the whole number, one third times the whole number. Um, but that probably would have taken you a lot longer to do. Okay, let's move on to question number three, which is a much faster problem. We did examples like question number three on the fraction word problem paper. It says, if two and three quarters pounds of candy cost 1067, how much would one pound of candy cost? So how we said to work this problem out was to take the total price of the candy and divide that price by however many pounds you have, two and three quarter pounds. Well, we wouldn't be able to use a calculator. So 10.67 divided by 2.34 is 0.75. So when you divide these two decimal numbers, you get 3.88. So $3.88. Moving on to question number four. Question four says, Sal took a box of donut holes to school. The box contained six glazed holes, two blueberry holes, and seven chocolate holes. The 10 remaining were jelly filled. What part of the box was jelly filled? So we are gonna be writing a fraction for this. Okay, we're gonna be writing a fraction. And for our denominator, we wanna know how many total donuts we have. So I'm gonna add up six glazed, two blueberry, seven chocolate, and the 10 remaining that were jelly filled. And when I add up those four numbers, again, you can use a calculator, you get 25. So there were 25 total donut holes. And this fraction is gonna be about, about the uh, amount that are jelly filled. So we have 10 that are jelly filled. 
and it says simplify if you can. And we definitely can simplify this fraction. We can divide both 10 and 25 by five. So that is gonna give me two over five as my final answer. Okay, moving on to question number five, which we did two examples of this on the word problem worksheet last week. It says Alexa, Randall, and Darius invested a total of $18,900 in the stock market. After one year, they earned a profit equal to one-fifth of their investment. Alexa receives two-fifths of the profit, Randall receives one-fourth of the profit, and Darius receives the rest of the profit. How much did each person get? So before we figure out how, we can start figuring out how much each person gets, we have to figure out what was the profit. So the profit was one-fifth, profit is one-fifth of the initial investment. So if the initial investment was $18,900 and we want to find one-fifth of it, I am going to divide this into five pieces that will tell me what one-fifth is. So one-fifth of this number is 3,780. Again, this is the profit. So I'm gonna label that so all of my work stays very organized. Okay, now that I know what the profit is, I can start working on each of these people. So I'm gonna start with Alexa. It says Alexa receives two-fifths of the profit, which is 3,780. First of all, the word of in math means multiply. So two fifths times 3,780. So you could do two, you could write this like that, with that whole number over one, multiply straight across, get your answer, then divide by five. But what we did in class was the first thing we did was we broke this into five pieces, 3,780 divided by five is 756. Now that would be one fifth, okay? We broke that into five pieces, that would be one fifth, 756. We have two fifths. So 756 times two is gonna tell us what our answer is, which is 1,500. So again, Alexa is $1,512. Randall, do Randall in red. Randall receives one fourth of the profit. So one fourth of the profit, which is 3,780. So to take one fourth of this number, I'm just going to take this number divided by four. 3,780 divided by four gives me $945. And since we're only taking one fourth, over here we had two, okay? Here we only have one, so I don't have to multiply it by anything. This is just my answer for Randall. All right, lastly, Darius. Darius receives the rest of the profit. So we need to figure out how much Alexa and Randall have already taken. Um, so first I'm gonna, Find 1,512 plus 945. Remember, you get to use a calculator, so you might as well take advantage of that. It's 2,457 that, again, Alexa and Randall have already taken. So Darius is going to get 3,780 minus the 2,457 that has already been given to Alexa and Randall. And we end up with $1,323 for Darius. Okay. All right, moving on to question number six. Question six says, a store conducted a survey among the customers about what is their favorite flavor of ice cream. Of the 60 people surveyed, three-tenths said they like chocolate, and seven over 30 said they like vanilla. The rest of the people surveyed said, they like strawberry. How many people said strawberry was their favorite flavor? So let's start with the chocolate. I'm just gonna put Choco. For Choco, three tenths said they like chocolate. Three tenths of what? Three tenths of the people that were surveyed, which is 60 people. So again, that would be three tenths times 
times 60 over 1. You can cross reduce on this one, by the way. Most of you don't like doing that. I'm just going to multiply straight across. 3 times 60 is 180. 10 times 1 is 10. That's improper. 10 goes into 180 18 times. So 18 people like chocolate. Let's move on to vanilla. 7 over 30 like vanilla. 7 over 30 of those 60 people. Okay, so 7 over 30 times 60 over 1. 7 times 60 is 420. 30 times 1 is 30. And 30 goes into 420 14 times. All right, so again, that was vanilla. It says the rest of the people like strawberry. The rest of the people. So we have 60 people total, and we know that 18 like chocolate, and 18, or sorry, 14 like vanilla. So I'm going to take my 60, and I'm going to subtract the 18 and the 14 from it. You could do 18 plus 14 first if you wanted to, and take that minus the 60. Um, and you would end up, though, with 28 people. 28 people chose strawberry. Okay? So, again, you could have had these two and gotten uh, 32, and then done 60 minus 32 to get that 28. Okay, moving on to our last problem, question number seven says, you are getting ready for a family vacation. You decide to download as many movies as possible before leaving for a road trip. If each movie takes one and two fifths hours to download and you downloaded for six and one fourth hours, how many complete movies did you download? Explain your answer using the mathematical, math, mathematical processes you used. Okay, so if you had six and one fourth hours total, to download and each movie takes one and two fifths hours so this is one movie we can divide the total time you have to download movies by the time it takes to download one movie so I'm gonna write these as decimals 6.25 remember you could do 1 divided by 4 and get 0.25 divided by 1.2 divided by 5 is 0.4. So 1 and 2 fifths is 1.4. 6.25 divided by 1.4 is 4.46. It uh, goes on for a while, okay? We want to know how many complete movies. How many complete movies? Four. So regardless of what's in the decimal, it could be 4.999999. Complete movies would still be four, okay? So four movies. And if you were gonna explain how you did this, you could say that you took the total time divided by the time it takes to download. one movie okay so that is it you will be able to use this paper um, these problems on the dma and you will be able to use last week's fraction word problems on the dma